Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I am just taking advantage of this gorgeous, gorgeous day to do my intro outside. <laughs> I'm working on my paint by number canvas that I'm turning into a journal cover, and I am enjoying the birds that are singing and the gray tree frog that is singing and the hummingbird who just popped by at the hummingbird feeder. Can you hear them? <laughs> and the squirrels and just enjoying the day, doing a little painting. Oh, you want to see a little closer up of the painting? Let me show you that. And then later we'll go inside and do some journaling. <laughs> Come on along. So this is the progress on my paint by number journal cover. And as you can see, I've started mostly in the middle, but tried to continue the colors out to the edge. But then I got to like the third or fourth color and I noticed <laughs> that I left out some spaces of some paint I already painted. So I'm going back and sort of filling in some of the ones that I've missed. The latest color I'm working on is this reddish color here. So I'm doing that and filling in some of the spaces that I missed with the other colors. But it is just such a gorgeous day and I am loving it. Let me move you around here. Hold on to your hat. Remember just, what, three days ago when I was showing you the wildflowers and there were no leaves on the tree? Look at the green and the blue sky. And the birds are happy, and I'm happy, and even the fairies are happy. Let's do a little walkabout before we go back inside. I'm coming over here right next to the picnic table. And as you can see, the friendly ferns are starting to unfurl. That's alliteration. <laughs> Look at that. And right next to the fern is a wild high bush blueberry that is blossoming. Looks like it's going to have a lot of blueberries. There's a lot of flowers. And next to that is a wild azalea. It has not bloomed. It is getting leaves though. I have it marked so Mr. Possum won't cut it down. And over here by these twin sticks, I mean, down here, my Jack in the Pulpit plant is coming up right there. And there's a little baby, and there's a little baby, and there's a little baby. And there's a little baby, lots of little babies. I have to clear this out a little bit. And this is where Mr. Possum was moving the hostas from this side because you know the grass is here and he had a weed whack around them to this side where there's mulch. <laughs> Makes sense, right? So most of them are coming along nicely. And looking back, that's where I was sitting under the umbrella. This is a little azalea that was eaten by the deer, but it's still alive. It might survive. And this whole area was full of trees at the uh, tree service had taken down. They could still see a mess over there, but they took away the big trunks. And the spot I was worried about was over here. Oh, there it is. Oh, I had this huge jack in the pulpit right here. And I was so worried that the tree service would come last year when it was blooming, but it's still there. And it already has a flower. Let me come around this way. Okay. 
Look, hey, there's Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi. Oh, man. It is up. It's got a whole patch of wildflowers right next to it. It's got some false salmon seal and some anemones there. And a bramble bush. Ouch. I'll pull that out. <laughs> All right, let me get a stick and mark that jack in the pulpit. There, that should do it for now. Put it next to the jack in the pulpit. Mr. Possum knows I mark things with a pink flag. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. I think there was another one here, though. Mm. Oh, yes, here's a baby, and here's a baby. And the babies have three leaves. There's two babies right there. They're little. They might not get flowers, though. I went inside, but then I got beeped on my phone that there's a package in the mailbox. So let's take a walk. It might be my Timu order and there's some journaling things in there. And there she is. Timu haul first then a teeny bit of journaling. I'm always afraid <laughs> I'm going to cut into something that's on the inside. So let me do this carefully here. There we go. I got some special papers. <laughs> and some special possum things. Oh, a dress. <laughs> I got a dress. All right, let's see. And I will share these with you. All my goodies here. On the top of the pile, well, it is a very small pile, isn't it? Yes, I don't buy a lot at one time. I tend not to spend a lot of money at one time. But on the top of the pile looks like a pack of money, doesn't it? Yes, it looks like a pack of Chinese money. And this is very special paper called Joss, J-O-S-S. -S. And here's the backstory. I was working in my Asian-themed glue book, and in the comments, somebody mentioned that, well, I had just about everything in this glue book except Jaws paper. Well, I stopped reading the comment immediately and Googled Jaws paper. Had no idea what it was, right? <laughs> well, apparently Jaws paper is like a spiritual offering. Uh, you burn it. You actually burn this. Talk about burning money, right? You actually burn the paper on special holidays and perhaps at a funeral. And it symbolizes um, spiritual money. And what you're doing is providing a positive outcome for the person who has passed away in their afterlife. And I just thought that was so interesting that I, I had to get some. <laughs> I had to get some because I was told that my journal did not have any Joss money in it. So I found on Timu, well, I imagine Timu would have it, right? Um, yeah, they're all the same. They're all the same. And I, I probably will not be burning them. <laughs> Mr. Possum is a retired firefighter and he's... <laughs> He doesn't like me burning things, so. but I will be gluing this down, making a page in my Asian glue book with this Joss paper. Now, I'm already thinking about, you know, the spiritual, the afterlife, loved ones who have passed away. That might, like, be the theme of the page, and they give you a lot here. 
All right, what else do we have? Well, we have some more paper. I thought this was really pretty. And this is a small pack of paper. It's one of those six by sixes. I have a lot of small papers, don't I? I need to make a six by six journal. But I just loved the watercolor style of these. And I was like, ooh. I might use these as inspiration to do some fun watercolors. Oh, I just love them. They're very botanical, but yet wild and free and colorful. And I like that there's a white in the background, yet almost like a rainbow across the bottom. Oh, look at this one. Oh, yes, I'm loving that. I think we're back at the beginning. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different designs, I guess. Sixteen. 24, it looks like maybe three of each, eight different designs, three of each. I thought they were pretty. And I just, I just felt like they were just very inspiring. So this might be a watercolor Wednesday. <laughs> yes, I just love this. All right, move on, move on. I know I get carried away with what I'm looking at. So two different kinds of papers and another kind of paper. And this is also a special paper. All right, let me open this up. I had never heard of this paper either. And this is called Ultra Thin Cicada Wing Paper. Vintage, vintage cicada wing paper. All right, let me just put a piece of white paper there so you can see that it's vintagey looking and it's very thin. Should I try ripping it for you? Yeah, it rips like a tissue paper, sort of. Almost like, almost like a mulberry paper, but without all those fibers in it, yes. So it rips really nicely. Yeah, I just thought this was interesting. You know, they're having the big cicada year down, I think, in the southeast this year. And I was like, ooh, cicada wing paper. Never heard of it. Be the first one to know about cicada wing paper. Hmm. Yeah, I will find uses for that. And this is very inspiring. And I will put this in my Asian glue book. Now, what else was in that tiny pile? <laughs> I got myself some special possum things and check out this sticker. There is an aching inside of me that can only be cured with the collection of unnecessary trinkets and items. <laughs> Little possum over there collecting everything. <laughs> is that me or what? Yes, I'm collecting things. <laughs> I collect colors, I collect papers, I collect fabrics. I'm just collecting everything here. <laughs> Oh, so cute. And where, where are we going to put this? <laughs> Somewhere where Mr. Possum can see it. I'll put it above a collection of something. And the other item I got was, stand by, let me get this one open now. This adorable little possum pin. It says, things always get better unless they get worse. <laughs> It's kind of like a grumpy cat, but a grumpy possum. <laughs> Things always get better unless they get worse. Yes, so this is the official grumpy possum to go along with grumpy cat. What's on my mind to finish is the second to last page in my magical mushroom fairy house journal. It is almost finished. I have a few center little papers to work on. And the last two pages right here. 
And this was a collage page that I put together inspired by this postcard. Now this postcard came from Flo, the fairy who lives with Janet Nash, to Angela Rose, the fairy, one of the fairies that lives here at Soggy Bottom. And I looked at this picture and I was inspired to do this. I made a little mushroom house down here with some gardening tools and all these flowers and birds and birdhouses and everything. So when I left off doing this page, I said I needed to find a small magazine image of a person preferably a person, it doesn't have to be a person, we'll see, a small magazine image that I could turn into the fairy who lives in this little house and tends this beautiful garden here. And then after I made the little fairy, I was going to sew the postcard into this netting, which is like a pocket here. And that would be the place for the postcard. So that's going to go there. I need to put some stitches in it. As soon as I finish this page, but maybe I can get another journal done. Not tonight, but <laughs> I spent way too much time just walking around outside. Oh, look at this beautiful border. Oh, I've got to cut that out and use that in something. Just walking around. It was so lovely outside today. And my Timu came and I was working on my painting. This is an interesting picture here. Well, she's looking with binoculars. <laughs> but she's got a straw hat on, which kind of goes with the garden, don't you think? Let's see. That might be a possibility. We're not sure. Well, sometimes you can find these cute little pictures of kids and they make wonderful fairies. Oh, look at this one in the leaves. Oh, little baby. All right, let's see. Keep going. Oh, gourd birdhouse. Oh, here's some little kids. They're looking the other way. How about town and country? Too big. I want a little person. There's a little person. Yes, that's a perfect size. I'll put some wings. Oh, that might work. That might work beautiful. Beauteous, beauteous. Oh. <laughs> I'm laughing because I just saw these horses, which reminds me, we just had the Kentucky Derby the other day. I know that's not how they pronounce it in other places, but in Connecticut, they say Derby. Anyway, <laughs> somebody sent me a note that... Um, the uh, horses were exercising at the Belmont Raceway and a possum ran out onto the track. <laughs> and a race between a possum and a thoroughbred, who would win? I probably don't need to look any further because I think I love that. Move these aside, and let's make a fairy. What's on the other side? We don't care about that too much. Oh, look, she's going up the steps, but her shadow on the wall looks like uh, looks like a lioness there. I'm going to try and leave a little bit of a white edge around her. So she looks like a die cut. This way I don't have to get too close to her face. Okay, she's tiny, but I think that's going to work. Because she has to live in this little house here. <laughs> she has to live in this little house here at the bottom. But she can't be out in the garden. She can't, oh, she's looking at the bird and the bird is looking at her. Okay, so she's going to be over here talking to her bird friend. And what she needs is a set of wings. Well, I was watching Trudy. I'll link her channel below or the video below. I believe it was part of the hashtag give a scrap, but she was using dryer sheets. <laughs> it's making some tags. And I was like, ooh. I wonder if I can make fairy wings out of a dryer sheet. 
it smells good. <laughs> it's going to make my journal smell really good. Let's see. Oh, I have, I think, fairy wings made from, uh, this is made from a um, tea bag, but I put uh, Sparkle Mod Podge on it. This is when Angela Rose came to Soggy Bottom. So this has to be tiny. She's tiny. I could just cut them into like butterfly shaped wings. Are these too big? Yes. So much for measuring, right? Now what color should I make them? Hmm. Or you know what? Instead of them going all the way across, as you can see, I don't plan things out ahead of time. <laughs> nah. Just kind of go with the flow here. Oh, yeah, I like that better. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. And, hmm. Should I draw on them? Should I use markers on them? Let's see. Okay, where's my sparkly markers? I could do something like that. I got pink, purple, yellow, blue, green. These are my Dollar Tree sparkle markers. And I could. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to lose these. I know it. Now, let's see. Let's put them right on here. Okay. And I'm going to start with a sparkly pink outline. Let's see how that... Yeah, that'll show up good. These pens are very sparkly. Very pretty. Alright, so I got pink. I got this color pink. And let's see. Purple goes with pink. Oh, maybe I'll do something like that. We had one gorgeous day of sunshine today. And now it's supposed to rain for like three days. <laughs> or be cloudy with showers and rain for three days. What goes with purple? Yellow. Put a little yellow in there. All right, let's see. What didn't I use yet? Oh, let's continue with the green down here at the bottom. And there's my little fairy with her sparkle gel pen wings. She told me her name is Rebecca and that her fave flowers are the red zinnias growing in her garden. I'm so happy I finished up this journal page with the addition of Rebecca, the gardening fairy, yes, with the dryer sheet wings. <laughs> She's going out to the garden to check on her favorite red zinnias. And this journaling journey is almost finished. One page to do there and a couple of little inserts and this will be finished. And this journaling journey has just begun Got some painting done today while sitting outside, relaxing, enjoying the sunshine. Little walk around the yard to check on the flowers and the trees. A little tiny haul from Timu. <laughs> Special papers, I can't wait to play with those. Watercolor inspiration, Asian Joss paper, and cicada wings. Hmm. I'm gonna make some insect wings, I think, with these. Oh, and maybe, maybe vintage old-fashioned fairy wings. Yes, yes. I'll be playing with this for sure. <laughs> and I've got my motto here. And I've got my little grumpy possum pin here. Yes. <laughs> what a day. What a day. Yeah, well, thank you for coming along and allowing me to share all of this with you. Bye-bye.